Good afternoon to all of you. In the last lecture, we have seen how to design a binary tree from given post order and in order travel systems. Today, we are going to study about designing a binary tree from given pre order and post order travel systems. It was very easy to find out the left child and the right child of the tree if the in order sequence is given to you. But in today's problem, we do not have given the in order traversal sequence so it is difficult for a user to find the left and right child of the root node to design a binary tree from given pre order and post order traversal sequence we use the following steps to find the root node of the tree we use the pre order sequence given to us as we know in the pre order sequence the root always comes at the beginning after getting the root node Take the next element from the pre-order sequence itself and check it into the post-order traversal sequence where it appears. If it appears before the root node, means it is the part of the root node. If the root node does not have left and right child, then the coming element must be placed in the left tree of the root node. Otherwise, we will place it into the right subtree of the root node. In step number three, we actually repeat all the above steps till the last element gets considered. Now we will see the first example of designing a binary tree from the given pre order and post order traversal sequences. Consider this pre order and post order traversal sequences given to you. To find the root node of the tree, we use the pre order traversal sequence. As we know, in pre order traversal sequence, the root comes at the beginning. So it is very easy to find the root node of this tree now. A, from this sequence, we can say that A is the root node of the tree. And then in the step one, we draw it here. After finding the root node A, we take the next element from the pre order traversal sequence itself. That is node P. Now we'll check it into the post order sequence where B appears in the post order sequence. If it appears before root node A, it means it is the part of node A. If root node A does not have a left and right child, then we must place the coming element B to the left hand side of root node A. So if you see in step number 2, we draw B on the left hand side of root node A. Now we repeat all the above two steps till the last element gets considered. Now to Take the next element from the pre order uh, traversal sequence itself, that is node D. Check it into the post order traversal sequence. If it appears before root node A, it means the part of root node A. If it appears before B also, it means it is part of node B. And if you see in step number 2, B does not have any left hand right child. It means that the coming element D must be placed to the left hand side of node B in step number 3. It is drawn. Now again we take the next element from the pre-order sequence that is the element E after node D. Now we check it into the post-order sequence where E appears. E appears before A, it means part of node A. It appears before B, it, is, it means it is part of node B. But here if you see in the step number 3, B has one left child. So we cannot place the coming element E to the left hand side of node B. If left child is packed, it is upper void, then we must place the coming element E to the right hand side of node B. In step number 4, if you see here we draw node E if after the node B that is towards the right hand side of node B. Now take the next element after E from the pre order sequence that is node C and check it into the post order sequence. If you see in the post order sequence, it appears immediately before node A, it means it is the part of root node A. But if you see in the step number 4, already the left subtree is occupied, it means the coming element C must be placed to the right side of node A. So if you see in the step number 5, we draw node C towards the right side of node A. After placing 
node C to its proper place. Now we take the next element after C from the pre-order sequence that is node F and we check it into the post-order sequence where it appears. If it appears before it means the part of the root node A. Now it is immediately before C it means it is the part of node C. Now if we check into the step number 5 node C does not have any left and right child here. It means the coming element that is F must be placed to the left hand side of root node C. So if you see in this diagram we draw in towards the left hand side of node C. So this is the final binary tree for the given pre-order and post-order traversal sequence. Now to check whether the resultant tree designed by you is correct or not. We traverse the tree in the pre-order and post-order fashion and if the result matches to the sequences given in the question it means the tree designed by you is correct otherwise it is wrong. Thank you very much for listening to this video.